this morning, that he has blessed us to be in the service one more time. We're so glad to be in the service. We uh, we welcome you and we give honor to God and to you and your respective places. We welcome you to another worship experience here at 1203 Pine Street in Delmore, Maryland, where yours truly is the pastor. We come to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. 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 By way of Facebook, Internet, and conference call, we are here for one purpose only, and that is to glorify God. Amen. And God might get the glory. Amen. 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 So we thank God for the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. We praise God and we give God all the glory. Our centering words are read as thus. May our lives be an honor and glory to God, who is our hope and our salvation. Amen? Amen. 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 We're going to have a music ministry now by the Brotherhood. We have the Brotherhood with us this morning. Amen. Amen. And uh, Sister Pat, our musician, and uh, Brother Dante on the drums. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we're going to... We're going to get right on into it with the music ministry. I open him, Oh, How I Love Jesus. And after which we'll be led to the throne of grace by First Lady Estella uh, Young. Pray with her, pray for her as she comes. Amen. Amen. Oh, How I Love Jesus. Yeah. 
know that prayer changes things. The Bible tells us that man ought to always pray and not faint. So we thank God for the prayer, for the opening prayer, uh, opening up the, the floodgates. Praise God. We thank God for the brotherhood God had. Smile on me. If God has smiled on you, give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 If you know that God has smiled on you, don't be ashamed to praise him. Hallelujah. God has smiled on me. He has smiled on us and he has set, he has set us free. Praise God. We're going to go right on into our scriptures. Our scriptures, uh, or our scripture will be read by our main servant, uh, Edith Douglas, after which we will have another music ministry uh, by Sister uh, Deshera Hitch, and then the sermon. Amen. 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 Pray for them and with the message. I was glad when they stood up to me.
We can enjoy these blessings right now. We don't have to wait till we get over on the other side. We all, uh, we're, uh, great anticipation is to get that heaven. But I believe that God wants us to enjoy what he has given us right here, right now, yes. on this earth where you are right now. He wants you to enjoy it. Paul said that God has chosen us. And it's comforting to know that, or it's comforting to me to know that God has chosen me. That God has chosen you. And that the works of God are not because of mankind. And we could shout about that right now because I don't know about you, but probably some of us, if our works or if our blessings determine on, on, on the, the way mankind uh, felt towards us, we just might not be here this morning. But we, we, it's good to know that, 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 that it's not uh, determined on mankind's action or, or the way you feel about me, but it's determined on the way God feels about me. We are not saved because we deserve it. I'm not saved because I deserve it, but because of his grace and he, that he freely gives us. Yeah. That amazing grace that uh, Sister DeShera was saying about just a few minutes ago. That amazing grace that looks beyond our faults and supplies our needs. I'm glad this morning that I don't have to influence God. I don't have to influence his decision to save me. Amen. According to the text, according to Paul, he did it according to his plan. His own good pleasure. Yes, yes. There is no way that I or you can take the credit. You see, because if we could, there would be too much room there for pride. So the, the mystery, the mystery, and it is a mystery, of salvation originated in the timeless mind of an almighty God. Long before you or I ever existed. Isn't that what he told Jeremiah? I knew you before you ever was in your mama's womb. I, I preordained you to be a prophet. Before you came out of your mama's womb, I knew you. It's all been done in the mind of God. No, I don't understand it. But by faith, I accept it. God chose us. And when we belong to him, to Jesus Christ, he looks at us as if we have never sinned. That's good news this morning. Because, because, because when we repent, you know, that was John's ministry. All John did was go, his ministry was repent, repent, and be ye baptized. Every one of you, repent is a change of mind. A, a different mindset, yeah. a turning around. And when you repent, uh, uh, I know some will never uh, uh, always remember, but God said when you repent, I cast it into the sea of forgiveness. Yeah. And I'll never remember it again. We got folk that say, I remember when, I remember, I remember what they used to do, how they used that. But this is a new day. Paul said, forgetting those things that are behind and pressing forward to the things that are here. So you got to forget that stuff. You got to forget that stuff. I know we get hung up on, I, 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 I forgive you, but I never forget it. But you got to forget it. You got to talk to God and tell him, give you a forgetful mind that you might be able to forget those things that are behind that you might be able to persevere. 
predestinated. Yeah. Predestination, our text talks about. Meaning that he has marked us. He pre 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 before. Before he has predestinated us. He, he has marked us. Uh, and in one sermon I say, he branded. You've been branded. Come on, somebody. He branded us. And when he branded us, he branded us beforehand. So therefore, you and I, as the body of Christ, we have been adopted as his children, as his children, through the sacrificial lamb. Jesus Christ, through his blood, brought us into the family of God. And not only did he bring us in the family of God, but he made us heirs, joint heirs, uh, along with Jesus Christ. Paul uses the word adopted. You know, you know when a parent uh, adopts a, a child, and they come into the home. They, they, they are no longer considered adopted. They are considered a part of that family. Amen. Or they should be. Amen. A part of that family. Paul uses that to show the strength uh, with, uh, that we have as adopted children of God. Amen. Meaning that we have the same privilege. The same privileges as the natural children. For the Bible says in Galatians 4, 5, and 7 uh, uh, that uh, he came to redeem those uh, that were under the law. That we might receive uh, the adoption or to receive the sonship because you and are his son, uh, God sent the spirit of his son uh, into our hearts. So it has been branded in every child of God's heart. Yeah. The spirit, the text said, who calls out Abba, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. You have all things. You are his heir. So you are in, you have his inheritance. Now. Everything belongs to you because you're the king's king. Yeah. Yeah. Accept it uh -huh. in the beloved. Yeah. Now we belong to his dearly loved son. Yeah. Beloved. We are the sons of the daughters of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know, but we know, we know, we don't doubt, but we know when he shall appear. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Jesus' death points to two important truths in our scripture. It points to redemption and forgiveness. Redemption was a price paid to gain redemption for a slave in the Old Testament. But through Jesus' death, he paid, through Jesus' death, he paid uh, the price to release us from the slavery of sin. So there came forgiveness, which was granted in the Old Testament times on the basis of the shedding of animals' blood. But now, but now, hallelujah, but now we are forgiven uh, on the basis uh, of the shedding blood uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. And because he died, uh, I was a perfect uh, and final sacrifice. Uh, grace is God's victor of uh, voluntary and loving favor given to all those 
We can't earn it. Nor do we deserve it. No religious or, or moral effort can gain it. It comes only from God's grace, God's mercy, and his love. And without his grace, no one can be saved. You've got to have his grace. Without it, no one can be saved. God's purpose for sending Christ was that Christ might unite us in the body with Christ as the head. My people still do not understand God's plan. But when the time is right, many people don't understand it. And it's not for us to understand it. Like I said, we just receive it and we accept it because it was the word says it. And, and, but, but, but when the time is right, the Bible said in the fullness of time, we will gather, he'll gather us up to be with him forever. And then everybody will understand the writer said, we don't understand it now, but we will understand it better by and by. You got to wait just a little while. You got to ask God to give you patience. No, I don't understand it, but one of these days, I am going to understand everything. On that day, he said, all my people will bow to Jesus. As Lord. Either because they love him or because they fear him. And God's plan was and is to offer salvation. Not just to some, not just to the people of color, not just to the Jews, but to everyone, to the world. Come on, somebody. And when your life and my life seems chaotic, ah. Rest in this truth. Jesus Christ is Lord. And that God, no matter what is going on around you in the world, God is still in control. And his purpose is to save you and me. His purpose cannot be thwarted no matter what evil Satan may bring. So rest assured that if his eyes is on the sparrow. You know that little teeny bird? I watched him going in and out of the feeders. I said he'll never get in that little, that little hole. But those sparrow, they, they, they draw themselves up and they get right in the, the, the smallest of the hole. Look yeah. like the size of a, a, a 50 cent piece. They'll get right in. But the Bible says uh, that God's eye is on the sparrow. And if his eyes are on sparrows, I know that he's watching me. I know his eyes is on me. His eyes are on you. We're much larger than a sparrow. And I believe that if his eyes is on the sparrow. And if he knows every sparrow that hits the ground, he knows when you are going through. Yes. His eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. The Bible says that at the Last Supper, Jesus let his disciples know that he had to go away. But he said, I got to leave you in order that the comforter could come. For while Jesus was with them, they already had the comforter. But when he left, the Holy Spirit came. That it might lead, that it might direct, and that it might keep them. And we can praise God this morning. That we have someone. We have someone that we can call on. Yes, sir. We can call on, Brother Darrell. We have somebody we can call on in our hours of distress. We got somebody we can look to for direction. We got somebody we can look to when it seems like all hell is breaking loose. We got someone we can call on. Oh, hallelujah. And his name is the mighty God. The everlasting Father.
God. Hallelujah. So when you call on him, the Holy Spirit is him. Hallelujah. And when you call on him, he will come to your rescue. The Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, is God's seal that we belong to him. It's the seal. We have been sealed. When you get the Holy Spirit, you have been sealed that you belong to Jesus Christ. And he's guaranteed to us that he will do what he promised. I like the way it's written in our worship plan. It said that the Holy Spirit is a down payment. Come on, somebody. It, you know, like we got, we, 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 they, they, they brought this uh, back to the stores where you can go and lay away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they went away with it for a while. Everybody yeah. was paying for stuff or putting it on the credit card. But now they brought back this, you, you can lay it, you can lay away. Yeah. Yeah, ain't that right, Sister Pat? You can lay it away. And you don't know? And, and, and here more and more. I know, because I've been right in there. And I know you can lay it away now. You can put a down payment on it. And they'll hold it for you. Yeah, yeah, they'll keep it for you until you come back and pay the rest of the money. Well, that's where the Holy Spirit is. When you get it bubbling up on the inside, it's your down payment. You have to have us put in a down payment. And when the tribulation comes, we try to come your way.
get hold of Jesus. Can you get hold of the Holy Spirit? Then you'll have the real Jesus. Oh, praise his holy name. Jesus said, I come. I come to you. Yes. Jesus ascended to heaven. He went, and the Holy Spirit is here with us. And we have the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ in us. So where Jesus is, it is heaven. If you got the Holy Spirit, wherever you are at, where Jesus is, dwelling on the inside of you, you have a taste. You don't have the real thing yet. You don't have to be satisfied with the taste. Hallelujah. I'm satisfied when they don't give me the taste. But when she said, when I sat down to the table, she made that plate. She made that plate. She made that
going to do it. Yeah. He ain't going to do it. If he moves you, yeah. you're going to be prepared. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. If you're singing out in the choir and you say, I got another ministry, he ain't going to take you off that choir if you ain't ready. If you ain't ready. <laughs> They're going to leave you right there. Uh -huh. If you're a lay servant, you're going to have to stay right there and take prepare you to be whatever you say you want to do. Yeah. And if you step out on your own, uh -huh. hey. You just might mess up. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He will prepare you yeah. for whatever it is yeah. that he's got you to do. Uh -huh. It is so sad. I know I'm getting off of my text, but it's so sad. Uh -huh. You see folk running from place to place. Yeah. It's so sad. They cannot stay one place. Talk about I can't grow that. Uh -huh. You can't grow. <laughs> I can't grow that. That that ministry is not for me. But well, what is for you? God is everywhere. Come on, somebody. Yes. And, 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 and could it be? Could it be? Is it possible that if you had the Holy Ghost, you could rub it off? And when God gets ready to elevate you, yeah. you won't have to ask no questions. Mm -hmm. You won't have to tell nobody nothing. Mm -hmm. If God, because when God does it, He approves of it, and He'll see to it that you are able to do what you have said He has assigned to your hand. Folk going around telling, God told me to do this. God told me to do that. Lying on God. It's a shame. It's a shame. It is a terrible thing. I don't know where they get the nerve because I could not do nothing like that. Talking about God told me if I I would I would do this, but 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 it just it's just not in my spirit. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop that. Stop that. If it's not in the word. Get rid of it. Because where Jesus is, is heaven. Amen. We praise God. And we thank God that He has revealed to us that where He is, is heaven. It's good to know. It's reassuring to know that where Jesus is, is heaven. My brothers and sisters, we don't like to close out any service without giving you a chance, the viewer or the listener, or hearing my presence, to a chance to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. I like the way Paul puts it. In Romans 10 and 9, Paul says, If thou wilt confess with your mouth uh, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, he said, You shall be saved. So it, it, all you got to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Paul said, You shall be saved. And then he said, Why, Paul? He said, For with the heart, man believe it unto righteousness mm -hmm. and with the mouth with the mouth you gotta open your mouth yeah. you gotta yeah. say something because that's when confession is made unto salvation yeah. so if you do it like that Paul said you shall be mm -hmm. you know you know no, no doubt about it no mm -hmm. might he said you shall be mm -hmm. you shall be saved yeah. so if you're listening by way of internet or Facebook conference call if you have opened your mouth and confessed the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, then if you sin, you shall be saved. Yeah. Our Father and our God, we thank you this morning for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your word. Let us know that where Jesus is, is heaven. God, we pray right now that you would touch everyone that's under the sound of my voice. 
work a wonder, work a miracle in their lives. Whatever it is that they have the need of, we believe that you can supply it according to your will. So according to your will, according to your word, we pray that you will supply them whatever it is that they stand in need of. Touch, heal, and deliver. And anything that is not like you, we bind it in the name of your son Jesus. And we cast it from among us. For we believe right now that no matter where we are in our life, that according to your word, all things, everything is working together for the good of them that love the Lord yes. and for those that are called according to his purpose. And oh God, we love you. We adore you this morning. We magnify, we exalt your name because your name is worthy of all the praise. For it's in your holy and righteous name we pray. Our soul says. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Saturday, July 24th, beginning at 9 and it's running until 8 p.m. And then on Sunday, July 25th, it begins at 9 a.m. And that will, Sunday will feature our very own Pastor Young and um, Lady Your Party. Um, and Sister DeSara Hitch will be singing at 2 p.m. on that Sunday. Amen. Amen. Well, please try to support Mount Nebo's event as much as possible, but please remember that our very own participants are participating on that service on Sunday, July 25th, um, with Pastor Young preaching, Lady, Lady Your Party Party is going to do that prayer, and this is the sheriff giving us a giving us direction. Amen. 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 The thank you card, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, and shake it together, and running over as in Luke 6 and 38. Praying the Lord blesses your giving heart in abundant measure. Thank you. Thanks for your support and prayers. The family of Blanche Lola. Mm -hmm. Bible study is completed until September. We will resume in September. Please remember the electionary scriptures are on the back of your bulletin. They, they may be read at your own convenience. And also remember to uh, read the Psalms. Prayer line is uh, open on Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. and 12 noon. <laughs> uh, call the uh, number and access code. I've already announced about the Mount Nebo uh, celebration on July 25th. Um, the United Methodist Women would like to thank everyone who supported the fundraiser on yesterday. Um, the winners of the room baskets were the bedroom basket, Wayne Spence, the living room basket, Hubernet Hot. <laughs> Kitchen basket, Shirley Giddens. Bathroom basket, George Brittingham. We are at this point $26 away from raising $1,000 to help with our mission project. Sister D, if you would like to do <laughs> Amen. We have the 26. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We you know, appreciate all your hard work. Again, we thank God for the brotherhood this morning. Amen. The brotherhood is back. Yeah. <laughs> we praise God. We thank God for them. And uh, we thank God for Sister Pat, Sister Pat Brown. Yeah. And certainly, uh, we thank our here at Union yeah, yeah, yeah. for assistance.
assisted. She she helps out keep us straight. So we thank you. She keeps us straight now. And and, and, and you heard her saying and keeping us keeping us going. So we thank you for that. And we thank all, all of the household for uh, being our backbone pushing the brothers. We thank you. We need a push. We need a push. And I believe you will push us. So you go ahead and push. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and push. So we thank God for our lovely ushers all around the country. We thank God for uh, our uh, finance department yeah. doing their work yeah. in, their, in their office. Yeah. And certainly we thank God for our drummer. We have Brother uh, Don Tate, Brother Nick here. We thank God for them. Yeah. We thank God for every one of you in your respective places. Most of all, we thank God for Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. 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 Amen.